Hello and welcome. In today's video, we are going to discuss how left-handed players should play ukulele. In the comments below, let me know if you're a lefty and how you play the instrument and what your experience has been like. I received this question from a Patreon, so this is why we're making the video. Hi, quick question. I'm teaching my left-handed son the 30-day ukulele challenge. Shall I teach him the conventional way or tweak, reverse, the string to make it left-handed friendly? I asked him to hold it like a regular right-handed player should, and he's okay with it, but when his friend made him try his left-handed guitar, he said it feels natural. What do you think? Thank you. Somehow this question has become a little bit controversial, so I know that I'm gonna get um, some very opinionated people in the comments, and that's okay, I welcome that. I welcome the discussion, so um, let's go straight forward. I believe that left-handed players should play with their dominant hand on the strumming. A lot of people say like, oh, left-handed players have an advantage by having their left hand up here. And I don't really agree with that statement. Usually switching to a chord, you land and hold, land and hold. So I do think that the hand that is doing the more difficult techniques is the dominant hand. And for us right-handed players, we have an advantage. We have a right hand where we need it for finger picking, for strumming, for muting, for chucking, for all of these techniques that require quite a bit of uh, detail to them. And if you're a lefty, you are, will be at a disadvantage having to do those with your right hand. So I do recommend if you are a lefty, make your right hand the chord hand and make your dominant hand the one that does all of those techniques that we need on the right hand or on the strumming hand. Now, do you need to restring the whole ukulele? Here's another one where I may get some uh, discourse in the comments, but I don't think that you need to restring the whole ukulele. Here's why. G and A strings are already on the outside and they're already pretty close. Like you just need to tune one down slightly and one up slightly. It's not that big of a difference. So those two on the outside, you're fine. The only time that I think you may need to restring, and it's not even like mandatory in my, in my book, but you may need to restring C and E, just because C moving up to an E is like C sharp, D, D sharp, E, it is four steps. Um, and then the E, to loosening it to a C, that's fine. So that's the only one where I would maybe restrain. But again, in my book, I would not make you do it. Now, hold on, before someone says like, my string popped and it's all your fault because you said that I could just retune it. Hold on, if you're going to just retune your instrument, then please take it super slow, like super slow with those middle strings, actually with all of it. Take it super slow, like only tune half a step at a time. So if you're gonna make that C and E, make it from C to C sharp, and then an hour later C sharp to D. And I recommend that you kind of like test the strings. If it's if it's too tight, then it's probably better to just restring the ukulele. But if you're noticing that it has a little bit of give and you're safe to move, then definitely move. Like go slowly please but you don't need to restring the whole instrument so there you have it that is my take i think that lefty ukulele players should definitely play with their dominant hand here because there are so many things that need to be done here that you should have your dominant hand there the other hand the fretboard hand that one moves and holds moves and holds yeah sure it stretches but I wouldn't say that there are any techniques that like give a lefty an advantage by being over here. Like maybe hammer-ons, but I don't know. I think that that's my take on it. I would love to hear your opinion. Uh, let's all be friendly in the comments. There's no need to get nasty, but share what you think, what your thoughts are, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.